driver should not have been on the road. Tonight he's facing charges in a deadly crash. Surveillance video caught the tragedy on cameras. Two vehicles collide. We won't show the impact that ended up killing a 71 year old woman. It happened in the area of 13 mile and mound as the suspect raced away from police. Seven Action News reporter Anupakash is there live tonight. A new why do police say the man should not have been behind the wheel in the first place? Well, Carolyn, investigators say Marcel Bost has three current license suspensions, and on Saturday morning, they say he first ran a red light at 12 and Mound, and then ran a red light right here at 13 and Mound. That's where he say they say that he hit a 71-year-old woman who later died in the hospital. I'm running my shift. I'm actually helping a customer, and a loud boom draws my attention. Mark Tudor was working at this Marathon gas station at 13 and Mound Saturday morning when he heard a noise that startled him. Then he saw the aftermath. And I look into the street and just pieces of debris everywhere. Warren police say 24 year old Marcel Bost was driving at a high rate of speed when he ran a red light at 13 and Mound, slamming right into a Kia Optima being driven by 71 year old Emerita Alboa from Warren. She died Monday at the hospital. On this gas station surveillance video, you can see that about 10 seconds after the impact, which we are not showing, a Warren police officer pulls up. We're told that officer who was on patrol in the area first saw Bost speed through a red light at 12 and Mound. Investigators say Bost hit a mini van and kept on going. We're told the officer turned on lights and sirens and tried to pull Bost over, but that's when they say he just kept speeding away and ran that second red light a mile away at 13 and Mound. Almost right away, which, you know, got me thinking that maybe he was chasing this person. Or otherwise, there was no way that they would get there that fast. Warren police say that officer was not involved in any high speed chase and no proper pursuit orders were violated. After the crash, investigators say Bost ran off, but police caught up with him on the GM Tech Center property and arrested him. They say he has three current license suspensions, an improper license plate, and has a traffic warrant out for his arrest in Hazel Park. It's absolutely horrible that an innocent person had their life taken away by a reckless act. Now, Bost was arraigned and given a $500,000 bond, but because that victim, that 71-year-old woman, has since passed away, more charges are expected. As for the driver of that minivan that was hit a mile away at 12 and Mound, we're told that person was not seriously hurt. Reporting live in Warren tonight, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Anu.